If you'd like to level up the display style on your Microsoft Windows system, I'm going to show you how you can actually import and change the fonts for Windows. So let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we know what font we want to use. So let's go to our search bar and we're going to type in fonts and you'll find fonts under your control panel icon. And from here, I'm just going to make this window bigger. You can choose the font that you want. So let's go and have a look for something funky. All right. So once you've found the one that you'd like, let's say this one here, you're going to double click on it and it's going to show you what it will look like. OK, so this is what it will possibly look like in different sizes. So that is fantastic. Right at the top, you'll see a font name. Now, this is important. We're going to just open this up and we're going to minimize it for the moment. We can also just minimize this. Now, the next thing you want to do is open up your notepad. OK, this is going to be the best and easiest way to do this. Now, within your notepad, open up a new window and you're going to paste in this. OK, I will leave this in the description below. What we want to do now is go back to that font. And as you can see, the font name, you want to double click on the actual name or click down and highlight it. And now we can go back to our notepad and we can type it in. So we need to type it in here where it says new font. OK, so highlight this and make sure you're typing it in exactly. So that's what the name is. As you can see, the P-A-R-C-H-M-E-N-T. And from here, we're going to go to File, and we're going to say Save As. Now, this is the important part. What we want to do is it says Save As Type. We're going to use this All Files option. And the file name, you want to just make sure that you are renaming it, perhaps to the font style. So let's say parchment font. And you're going to say .reg to create a registry file. From here, we're going to say save. And we can now just minimize all of this and close it. And you'll find that this will now appear on your desktop. Or if you had saved it in a different location, you need to move it to your desktop. After a few seconds, you can right click on your desktop and you will see the refresh icon. You can click on that and it has now appeared on the desktop. You're going to go ahead and open this up and you can see here is the file. You are going to now double click on this. You can now just click on yes and you will get this registry editor pop up and we just want to make sure that we're saying yes to this and it says the keys and values contained in this path have been successfully added to the registry. We can say OK and from here you're going to go and restart your computer and the font will have changed taken effect as you can see people. My font has changed. It looks amazing. I've completely customized my desktop. If you like this video, drop us a big old thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Peace.